to set company bookmarks via a policy. And so what these are is effectively a list of bookmarks so you know that you're accessing the right site. Company bookmarks. Quite often, if a local computer is compromised via a, let's call it an exploit, you could call it a virus or a bioware, malware or anything, same, same. Quite often what someone will do is they will redirect access to certain websites or pretend to be another site. And that might be pretending to be a bank, might be pretending to be critical system that you log into, like, I don't know, CRM system, or they might be redirecting to a fake version of Salesforce, something like that, right, to get access to your customer's data. And so one way of thwarting that is to set company bookmarks via a policy. And so what these are is effectively a list of bookmarks so you know that you're accessing the right site. Now, this happens in the crypto world a lot, where someone will create a fake website that looks like a crypto exchange or a crypto website, but it's using a, a weird domain. Maybe it's .ru because it's Russian Federation, or maybe it's got just like one slight misspelling on the domain name and it's slightly different, but you don't pick it up when you're accessing the site. Apart from that, it looks exactly the same. And so what we want to do with a policy for company bookmarks is we create a dedicated set of company bookmarks where we set the URL. And it means that no one can accidentally go to the wrong website as long as they're clicking through to the company bookmarks list. Now, you can see here, I've got a company bookmarks list inside my Google Chrome here. So we've got all of my company bookmarks sitting here inside my Google Chrome. So any one of those links are basically gonna send me to the correct website. And I know that I'm going to the right site because I've used the links there. So my recommendation is that you implement this for your team. Here's how we do it in Chrome. It's using a Google Chrome policy. So I'm gonna use the Chrome device management menu inside of the admin panel. So that's going through the devices menu and then Chrome, and then we're gonna to go to our settings. Now, there's two ways of managing Chrome devices. If you have a Chromebook or a Chrome box, you can manage device level settings if you purchase a device management license. But if you just wanna manage user settings, so that's just stuff that your users see, this applies not only to Chromebooks and Chromeboxes, it also applies to anyone who is logged in to a Chrome browser using their business account. So very important that you and your staff, when you're using your Chrome browser, log in using your business account, and then these policies will apply. It also means that your data inside of Chrome will be synchronized to your business account, so it's backed up if you lose or need to change computers. All right, cool. So let's go into our settings here. So remember, it's devices, Chrome, and then settings, and we can see all of our settings here. Oh, look at that. It's already got bookmark. Pretty search for bookmark, probably the last time I did that. But if you search for bookmark, it's going to give you a menu where you can set a set of, they're called managed bookmarks. So I can click on managed bookmarks. Here we go, edit bookmarks. And I can choose which bookmarks my team are gonna have. So I just add in the name and then the URL, and then they're effectively secured for my team. It'll automatically gonna show up there. Not only does that protect your account, but it's pretty darn handy as well. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this, Click the link below to get started.